What we will be demoing is our first development at the Robotics Living Lab. It's a directional cutting tool. We would invite you to test this as well, so hand guiding and doing very small programming. We've been working really closely with MMU, installing some workbenches and supplying robots and other equipment. There's a lot of technology out there that needs to be explored for especially fashion businesses, automations for vendors, lines, or even the way in which we prototype, develop and create. I feel like it could be used across all of our business procedures. And I've got some key names to take away, research, share of the team. I think the relationship between designers and those who are developing next generation materials um, is currently quite disconnected and I'm very interested in how we close that gap and create more discourse between designers and actually those who are designing on a fibre level, for example, what the material performance will be. And when you add this layer of tooling and making to the process, it's also really interesting to see how designers can play a, a very integral role in how we evolve these machines for kind of future product applications. The minute you introduce automation to a job, a lot of people seem to think that you're looking to remove them. Uh, what you're actually doing is making them more productive, more efficient, therefore making their job more secure, and you're also giving them a new skill by using and integrating with that technology. I think more accessibility to automated tooling and robotics um, in the UK fashion and textile industry as a whole will be so beneficial for more people to be thinking about this type of production, methods of application, and then actually figuring out ways that we can actually improve the quality of production and scale it as well. Software integration is one of our key factors here. We want to make this easy for companies to you know, integrate things that they're already using with little extra investment to kind of integrate this. If I press this blue button on the top here, that, that ring goes blue and I can basically drag the robot around so it's, it's captured a point. And if you now move it to, to the other end, it'll set that point. So now we've got a couple of points in the sequence. So this is very much the fundamental. So Kat was talking about a much better workflow where you can go straight from your CAD design. The software will generate all of this automatically and the robot will just cut the path. And this will basically create your robotic path from scratch and really easily click of a button. You can determine whether you want an edge cut or whether you want the seam allowance to be cut. It's been really informative and I've struggled to see so far how we can apply that to textiles but it's good to know that this is still pioneering and we're not kind of lagging behind in that sense it is still in its infancy so I'm really interested to see it develop. Robotics could really help us in terms of reshoring back into the UK. It's great seeing all these companies all this technology that exists hardly any of it is focused on textiles which is a shame because all these technology companies should realise that you know the textile industry is growing again in the UK and there is a huge marketplace for them that will help to achieve the goal of onshoring textiles to the UK again. I think the really fascinating thing that's happening here is the intersection of a very advanced uh, manufacturing process, industrial processes, uh, mixed with uh, fashion and textiles. So I think the intersection of these two worlds and the collaboration that's occurring could have some amazing benefits. In logistics and in our warehouses, we already use automation there and we're seeing more and more automation during our operations and our production just to speed things up, make things more efficient, reduce waste. That's another thing that with automation, it gives more consistent results. But we also still have people managing and overseeing that process and giving the creativity to utilise these machines in the best way. I always look at how we could use the best of both situations and get the best outcome in a sustainable way.